think? I, Do you really think that you're helping these children by releasing them to labor traffickers and, yes, sex traffickers? 85,000 children whom you have no contact with, and your answer is, we gave them a presentation before we turned them over to these people who are exploiting them on a scale not seen in this country for a hundred years, a century. A century. It's a disgrace in the United States of America. Let me ask you this. You did a, an audit, I noticed, where you gave yourself a clean bill of health. So just, just tell me this. Do you require sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Senator, we have a thorough vetting process. Do you require we'll sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Yes, we go through. No, a you do not. You, you do not. Have you read the Senate's permanent subcommittee on investigations reports on your office? There was one in 2016. There was one in 2018. There was one in 2020. There was one in 2022. Spanning administrations. What they found is you do not require sponsors to document their relationship with the child. You release them anyway. What about background checks? Do you require background checks on all adults in the household? In cases where the child is being released to their parents, we do not require um, background checks. But Senator, I do, would Do you really require like background that. checks on all adults in the household in any case? Yes, in some cases we do. How, what percentage of cases do you do background checks on the adults in the household? I, I don't have that number. No. Do you do home visits in all cases? You can actually see where these children are, are being released, who you, whose care you're putting them in? We do not do home visits in all cases. Senator, I'd really like the opportunity to talk about what we are doing. You, I know what you're doing, and it's, it's incredibly and totally inadequate. Bidenomics is working.